This Dodge Dakota pickup was so rare that it went for $39,000 at an auction. These trucks are the perfect time capsules of an era. Long gone, when Dodge was all about being different, while being impressive at the same time. These are the seven most special and limited edition Dodge Dakota pickups you've just gotta know about. But before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Truck and Roll for more content like this. Starting at number seven is the Dodge Lil Red Express. In the late 70s, Dodge unleashed a real beast onto the roads, the Dodge Lil Red Express. This was a time when cars were going through big changes and Dodge decided to revolutionize their strategy with a truck that wasn't just about hauling stuff. Nope, this thing was all about power and style. Under the hood, the Lil Red Express packs a 360 cubic inch V8 engine, churning out an impressive 225 horsepower. It was so fast that Car and Driver magazine called it the fastest American-made vehicle from zero to 100 miles per hour at the time. But specs aside, its looks had some serious appeal too. This was thanks to its sleek stepside bed design and red paint job. With Dodge wanting this truck to stand out, it made sense why the company wanted it to offer both high performance and killer looks. Back when muscle cars were the main thing and Dodge wasn't afraid to push the boundaries of what a truck could be, but this is far from the only Dodge truck that holds a special place in people's hearts. Because at number six, it's the Dodge Dakota Sport Convertible. This unique ride was only around for a short while, from 89 to 91, and let me tell you, it's a rare sight these days. But why, you ask? Well, it's a classic case of supply and demand. You see, back in the late 80s, Chrysler was looking for a way to amp up the Dakota lineup. Instead of just adding more power or making it tougher for off-roading like the competition, they decided to go for something bold, a convertible truck and that's how the Dakota Sport Convertible was born. The process was pretty straightforward. They took regular cab Dakotas and sent them over to the American Sunroof Company. There, they chopped off the roof and added a roll bar, soft top, and a plastic rear window. They even put in new frameless glass doors for that sleek top-down look. Now, what's interesting about those 91 models is that they were impossible to find. There was no advertising for them, and they were all built randomly with different options. Most were sold before they even made it to the dealerships. Under the hood, these convertibles packed a punch with a 3.9 liter V6 engine, or you could opt for a 2.5 liter four cylinder. Plus, they came with all the bells and whistles you'd expect from a sport trim, like power windows, cruise control, and a banging stereo system. Of course, there are many more Dodge Dakota pickups where that came from, like, at number five is the Dodge Warrior. The Dakota Warrior took inspiration from those limited edition warlocks that hit the scene in the late 70s. Made to resemble those legendary rides, the Warrior was like a modern day tribute to a classic. In a way, the Warrior had some of the best parts of previous Dodge vehicles all combined into one sleek new package. It had the same custom bed as the Little Red Express, but with a twist, this time having vertical exhaust stacks. Oh, and let's not forget the slick graphics package that really set it apart. Now, back in the day, if you wanted to upgrade your Dakota to warrior status, it would set you back about $5,000. But by 92, they managed to knock that down to around $3,350. Diving a bit more into the details, the Little Red Express and the Warrior had this cool factory option called Rear Bumper Delete. Basically, they'd come off the assembly line with no rear bumper, ready for their custom makeover. And in 92, they stepped up the game with the 5.2 liter Magnum V8 engine option. But here's where it gets even cooler. Every Warrior was fully loaded with an AC, 3.9 gears, limited slip differential, you name it. Plus, a sleek black exterior with a crimson red interior, complete with comfy bucket seats and a center console, made this one pickup that has stood the test of time. Now, while no one knows the exact numbers, one thing is certain. These things are rare. Even rarer than the Little Red Express, in fact. Estimates put production at around 250 units over the three years, with just 40 rolling off the line in 92. At number four, it's the Dodge Shelby Dakota. This truck, born out of a collaboration between the legendary Carroll Shelby and Dodge, 
marked a significant milestone in the realm of high-performance pickups. So, just what made this truck stand out? Well, for starters, it was Shelby's first venture into the world of rear-wheel drive vehicles, and they certainly made an entrance. Under the hood, you had a powerful 5.2-liter V8 engine, a real powerhouse packed into a compact mid-sized truck frame. This was pretty rare back then, especially since it replaced the standard 3.9-liter V6 engine. With this modification, they cranked up the power to 175 horsepower and a torque of 270 pound-feet, giving this truck some serious muscle. But it wasn't just about what was under the hood. The Shelby Dakota came dressed to impress, with special wheels, trim, and individually numbered dash plaques, highlighting its exclusivity. And they only made 1,500 units, split between 505 white and 995 red. So if you ever happen to see one of these on the road, consider yourself lucky. Moving on to number three, it's the Dodge Dakota RT. The first generation Dodge Dakota RT hit the streets in the spring of 1998 and kept on rolling until 2003, leaving a lasting impression on truck enthusiasts everywhere. The Dakota RT packed a serious punch with its 5.9 liter Magnum V8 engine, delivering a massive 250 horsepower and 345 pound-feet of torque. But Dodge didn't stop there. They fine-tuned this beast with a performance-tuned dual-inlet stainless steel exhaust system and a heavy-duty electronic four-speed automatic transmission, ensuring maximum power and performance in every drive. With oversized 17-inch wheels paired, the Dakota RT pickup has a solid, stable footprint, perfect for tearing up the streets with confidence. And with a suspension designed for road handling rather than heavy loads, this truck drove really well too. They even lowered the suspension to give it that sleek, road-hugging look and feel, making every drive an amazing experience. Plus, the Dakota RT was about style too. With its unique exterior package, including color-keyed bumpers and flared fenders to accommodate those larger wheels and tires, this truck made a bold statement everywhere it went. Next up at number two, it's the Dodge Dakota R1. In 1998, Chrysler Corporation decided to make a big splash in South America by dropping a massive $315 million on a shiny new pickup truck plant in Campo Largo, Brazil. This was Chrysler's first ever pickup truck plant outside of North America. And guess what? They had big dreams for it. Chrysler had its sights set on building the Dodge Dakota for Brazil, with plans to churn out 12,000 trucks per year, including 5,000 Dakotas in the first year alone. While they named it the R1, all the Brazilian models ended up being two-wheel drive only. Now, let's talk engines. These Brazilian Dakotas came with either a base four-cylinder 2.5-liter VM turbo diesel engine or a beefy 5.2-liter V8. Other than that, they were pretty similar to the U.S. models, except for its rolling R1 chassis, of course. Chrysler engineers developed it and sent it over to Dana in Brazil, who then assembled it. This innovative approach ensured that the trucks met the local content requirement while streamlining the entire production process. Finally, at number one, it's the one-off of the Shelby Dakota. Now, you might wonder, didn't we already go over the Shelby Dakota? Well, hold on, because this is actually a one-of-a-kind variant of the car. In fact, it's the very first one ever built. And guess whose hands it landed in? None other than the legendary Carroll Shelby himself. This truck wasn't just any old ride for Shelby, nope. It served double duty as both his personal vehicle and as a trusty shop truck for Shelby American. In 2018, it hit the auction block at Barrett Jackson in Scottsdale, Arizona, and it fetched a massive $39,600. Along with the truck came some pretty cool documentation to prove its status, including evidence that Shelby himself once owned it. Now, if you want to check out some more content on trucks, make sure to click on this next video.